Uh, welcome back everybody and uh, to our Revit 2016 project. Okay, so in the uh, the last project we um, utilized our reference planes to um, place our some ground floor or ground level walls. And so this is the brick veneer wall. Okay, so we placed them and we we touched on the whole um, the wall tool. So if I go wall, okay, location line, which is a really important part about walls and things like that. So and for this project we had used um, location line exterior um, finished face exterior and traced around in a clockwise direction in order to get our brick on the outside so therefore to make it a proper brick veneer so now one of the things I mentioned in the previous um, video is that the brick veneer that Revit gives us by default is not 100% correct and um, we're going to take that opportunity um, or the opportunity to remedy this um, in this video okay and sort of introduce you to the concept of you know um, the the assembly aspect of Revit so assembling walls roofs all that sort of stuff so it's a bit of an introduction to a, a different segment that we do need to um, be familiar with. So here we have our um, wall here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of those walls. Okay, it's, light, it's lighting up in my properties there. Okay, and it says basic wall brick veneer dash 250 timber. Okay, now for those who have uh, work in Australia, we all know that a brick veneer wall when completed is 240 millimeters okay so we need to remedy this so in order to get the start of the process what we need to do now is go into our properties okay and below the the title there's a button there called edit type so I want you to click on that because this basically is going to bring up the the type properties okay so when we're talking a type Okay, this is the these parameters here, or these you know sets of um, bits of information. Okay, apply to all walls built with this name, brick veneer two hundred and fifty timber. If I take my mouse over a little bit and I look over here in the properties window and what's active here, these are called instance parameters, and these are parameters that adhere to apply only to the wall that has been drawn on the screen so we can modify things separately okay so we can make individual wall pieces behave differently even though they will still have the same name so it's a key differentiation with Revit so but in here we are in the type properties okay so I'm just going to bring this over a little bit because what's going to happen is we're going to have a couple of other windows pop up Okay, so we've got the brick veneer 250 timber. General rule of thumb with Revit um, is don't overwrite original um, information until you're confident of what you're doing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate. So over here we've got a duplicate button. I'm going to duplicate it. Okay, we get a little pop-up window. Okay, brick veneer. I'm now just going to rename that instead of 250 timber, get rid of the number 2. Revit likes to do things sequentially. Okay, so brick veneer 240 timber and just go OK. Now, there we go. The type has changed name, but it has not changed um, any of the values yet that make it a, a 240 timber wall or brick veneer wall. And as you can see in here, in the type parameters, there we go. In the grayed out area, it says width 250. Okay, so we know it's not still not quite right. Okay, so in here we've got a range of different properties, etc. Um, but what we're really interested in right now is this one here. Okay, in this in the construction parameter or group. Okay, there is a button there called or you know, 
a parameter called structure. Okay, if I go to the value side of this table, okay, there is an edit button. So I'm going to left click on that. Okay, and this will bring up, oh, there we go, this will bring up the edit assembly button or window. Okay, and this shows us how the window, or how this wall is um, constructed. So, and here we, gives us quite a bit of information here. So, um, at the top here we've got um, the family, basic walls, it's a brick veneer 240. At the moment its total thickness is 250. We've got our resistance there, so it's an R value. Okay, so it's a thermal, it's um, for thermal performance values there for helping you to do energy assessments. And thermal mass there. So it's, you know, it's kind of had a little bit of um, information for us. Okay. In this section here, okay, are the layers um, or pieces that are that make up this wall. Okay, and we're not going to go incredibly into depth today. We're just going to basically show you how to modify one of these elements. Okay, but in here we have, okay, at the very top, the exterior side. Okay, so this is why it's important. You know, Revit does have exterior and interior elements to each each um, wall, so you can make sure you get them on the right all your layers in the correct order. Okay, so there we've got, we've got a finish one function, masonry brick brown, 110 mil thickness. That is correct. Okay, standard brick size um, in Australia, uh, 110 wide, 76 millimeters high by 230 millimeters long. So that's okay, that's the, width, the thickness or the width. Go down to number four. Okay, we'll look at the structure element of it, which is a timber frame, 90 millimeters. That is also correct. Okay, 90 by 45, 90 by 35. Those are the sort of um, framing sizes that we use. Okay, which leaves only one more piece to go, which is number two. Okay, which is the thermal layer or the air layer. Okay, so this is the air gap between the um, brick and the timber frame. Okay, the material there is an air infiltration barrier, so it doesn't show anything when we view it. And there we have a thickness of 50 millimeters, and this is the problem. Okay, now not too certain why Autodesk um, keep. Let me bring that into the middle now. We're not too sure why Autodesk haven't updated this yet. Maybe they haven't been told, but. Once upon a time, uh, brick veneer walls were 250 when constructed, but that was because we were using much thicker timber and that was unseasoned. So we would put in maybe 100 millimeter thick unseasoned timber that would eventually season naturally um, down to about 90 millimeters, i.e., lose about 10% of its um, weight and size by water. Okay, but this here in front, this barrier has always been 40 millimeters. Okay, as far as of as far as I'm aware, anyway. So all we need to do here now is just go change this value. Okay, so if I change that from 50 to 40. I can click out. Okay, and it goes there. Now straight away, if we go to the assembly information at the top there, we can now see that the total thickness is 240 millimeters. Okay. We're not going to worry about any of us all this sort of stuff at the moment. Okay, we could have it at the bottom left hand corner. There's a preview button. Click on that. Gives us in plan view what the wall sort of looks up in an extreme close up. So there's our timber. There's our timber. There's our um, air layer, and there's our brick. Okay, turn that preview off. And now we can go. I'm just going to bring that wall down just a little bit. Okay, so there's our wall there, and if I go OK, we should see that wall. Okay, OK again. Sorry, we should see that wall reduce ever so slightly in size, which we did. Okay, so there it is there, brick veneer 240 timber. Now the other ones are still all 250s. So easy way to to, to fix all that. Okay, hold the control key down. Okay, when you hold the control key down, you'll see a little plus symbol appear next to your cursor. Okay, while that plus is there, 
we can left click and select multiple elements we could could have selected anything but we just chose to select walls okay so we've done that see these are all brick veneer 250 timbers now I can go click on this drop down menu and I can go through and choose another type of wall obviously in this case we want to change this to the brick veneer so we're just going to go 240 timber there okay see a very very subtle change to the wall thickness um, there okay if I was to do a quick dimension ooh, pick wall faces there little there and there 240 another little check there 240 so I'm happy I'm very happy that we've got that correct um, right so that's that's that basic lesson okay it's just a very quick one no real massive changes to what we see um, but very very important nonetheless now for the clever ones those of you who have started uh, building Revit templates and things like that a really good idea would be to put this create this 240 brick veneer wall and incorporate it as part of your template especially in Australia it's it's a bread and butter wall um, we use very very commonly so it would make sense to have it in a template rather than to have it go through this process each and every time you start a project okay anyway we will catch you later um, it's Friday night so um, yeah I'll be uh, might be taking a break for a couple of days we'll see how it goes but I will see you later